Hello, uh, today we're going to be talking about the PC IRS 501 and how it um, is connected to a standard uh, PC motherboard and uh, we'll go over some of the uh, components on the uh, IRS 5 uh, and we'll also um, uh, show you how it works. Let's start by uh, going over the various components of the IRS 5. Um, we'll start with just the receiver here uh, so this is where when the signal from the uh, remote control is received it will um, this LED here will flicker and um, so the other there's a couple other LEDs on this main board here uh, this one right here uh, this red one will turn on when the uh, main processor on the IRS 5 uh, is receiving signal and the this LED here, uh, the green LED, will turn on when there's power to the IRS 5, uh, 5 volt power. So let's start with the connectors. So the first connector is the uh, 5 volt power connector and uh, the one next to that is the motherboard connector and next to that is the USB data connector and next to that is the external uh, receiver uh, connector. And so let's talk about the cables that are connected to these. Um, so we'll start with, <coughs> this is the uh, motherboard connector here, um, which I have already uh, set up uh, on the motherboard. Uh, and this motherboard that we're using today is a standard um, type desktop board, uh, the DH61AG uh, from Intel is what we're using. Um, so, and this uh, cable here is connected directly to the power and LED header on the motherboard, which um, if you have a quick reference guide, for example, this motherboard has a quick reference guide, you can see um, where the header is uh, on the motherboard. And you can um, see whether uh, positive and negative um, for the pins, uh, which is important when you're making these connections. Um, if it doesn't display the po uh, positive and negative uh, on the pins, uh, you will probably need, and actually you will need, a uh, voltage meter, such as uh, this one um, from Radio Shack or any, any uh, voltage meter will do. Um, to indicate which pin is positive or negative. Um, so that part of the connection can be a little tricky, but um, it's, it's not too bad. So uh, once you do have that connected, um, and we do have a full video on making those connections uh, to simplify it for you, um, connecting the cables uh, in a typical scenario for a first time person um, doing this would probably take between 10 and 15 minutes, so it's, it's not a big deal. Um, so then we have this USB data uh, cable here, and that's an important um, connection as well. So um, these are the, the two cables um, that you are essential uh, to connecting to the IRS-5, um, and you may need uh, a third cable. Um, to make to make it work, um, so that so basically you will need a third um, cable to power the IRS five um, if there is no power from the motherboard uh, USB header in, when the computer is in a complete off state. So um, this particular motherboard does not have that capability. So we will need to power the, um, the IRS five with external uh, power. So we'll plug this cable in, um, which uses an included uh, adapter. Um, so we'll go ahead and plug the, uh, show how this works, and plug the adapter into a power strip that I have here. Take one second. And then I'll connect the uh, included internal cable here. So it, it'd be nice if your motherboard had an internal, um, internally powered USB header 
uh, that's powered when the computer's in an off state because uh, you wouldn't need this adapter um, and this internal power, 5 volt power cable in that case. But um, it's not really a big deal if, uh, to connect these. Um, so let's go ahead and, and make that connection. And as you can see, the computer right now is completely off and uh, it should have been unplugged. I'll unplug it now um, before you make any of these connections. So we ac actually haven't made a connection to the PC yet. So you want to make sure when you're doing these um, connections that the computer is off and actually unplugged. So, um, so as you can see here, uh, the 5 volt power is, is working um, because the LEDs are on. So again, this red LED indicates um, power to the uh, uh, processing unit on the IRS-5, and this red, red uh, green LED indicates that there's um, 5 volt power coming to the unit. So um, we have power there. We can go ahead now and set up uh, or connect the motherboard uh, cable here to the unit. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. <coughs> So essentially uh, what happens here is when the uh, LED of the computer um, turns on, that tells the IRS-5 that there is power, uh, that the computer is on uh, in the on state. And when that LED is off, uh, it tells the IRS-5 that the uh, computer is off. So that's how the IRS-5 determines uh, the state of the uh, power of the computer. So. Right now, it knows that it's it's off. Um, so let's go ahead and plug in the USB cable. And that cable is where um, the central processing unit on the IRS-5 communicates through uh, and, and allows the, um, the unit to um, communicate to the operating system of the um, whatever it may be, whether it's Linux or uh, Windows 8.1, which is what we're using today, or uh, the various uh, other Windows platforms, so which is, would be XP and, uh, Windows uh, XP and up. So um, all the connections are made now. So conceivably, if we go ahead and I'm just going to put that down, the unit down, and plug in the PC power. All right, so now, um, in, in this case, there's no window on this, on this PC for, for the IRS-5's receiver. So uh, there's a couple things you could do there. You could either drill a hole in the front of the panel of the case and uh, mount uh, the IRS-5 uh, to the front uh, of the case, or uh, in which we include a, a bracket for that uh, to make things simple, um, or you can use uh, an external receiver and connect the external receiver um, which substitutes the onboard receiver here um, using this connector here. So uh, that is an additional cable that's not included uh, which is right here with the unit if you want to do that. So I, I'm going to go ahead and just connect that for now. So let's go ahead and we have a uh, INT-422 into set uh, universal remote here, which is pre-programmed with um, Windows Media Center uh, uh, programming uh, for the remote uh, on it, uh, which you can buy this on Amazon. Um, but any universal remote uh, will work with the IRS-5. So uh, let's go ahead and power on the unit now. So I'll just hit the power button here. And the computer is turning on, as you can see here. So it's turning on from the complete off state. And there we go. So I'm going to now press the OK button here. And as you can see, the IRS-5 is and the universal remote is now controlling the uh, PC and the Windows 8.1 interface. Okay, I've gone ahead and shut down some of the video lights so that you can see the computer screen a little more clear. And I'm um, gonna go ahead and 
uh, hit the uh, menu button here on the remote, which is going to call up XBMC. I uh, just wanted to show you, you the interface here. It's kind of nice because, um, and as you can see, I'm controlling it with the remote. Um, I can go into hibernate or suspend. I can power off the system um, from this UI. So I'm going to just <coughs> quickly show you. Uh, I'm going to go into the suspend state here and uh, show you what happens when I do that. Uh, you can see on the front of the PC that the LED, the power LED, is blinking. Um, and if I take a look at the uh, IRS-5, it is also blinking as far as uh, receiving a uh, signal. Um, so it, it corresponds <coughs> to the LED on the PC. Um, so that's the suspend state. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the unit back on from suspend. So I'm going to go ahead and show the hibernate option here. So if I click on hibernate, same type of thing, shuts the machine down. As you can see, uh, the blue LED will go off in a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. And it should pop up with the XBMC interface in a second or two. There we go. And if I want to then uh, power down the system completely, uh, I can do that as well. So when I power back up the unit, uh, it's going to come to the Windows desktop instead. And I'll just show you that. So now again, the computer's completely off. And I'm going to hit the power button to get the computer back up and running. And again, it's going to go into the Windows desktop instead of XBMC because we powered down 100%, uh, not using Hibernate. So there we go. And if I hit the menu button, bring me back into XBMC. So that's the IRS-5 in a nutshell, and that's how it, it works. That's it, how it works in action there. And um, just one other quick thing, I can show you the external cable here. If I go ahead and plug that in, um, you can extend uh, the IR receiver out to uh, up to 20, 25 feet. Uh, with this particular cable, this is eight, an eight foot extension, but we also offer uh, a cable that will allow you to extend it up to um, 20 or 28 feet. So um, let's go ahead and try this. So I'm just going to block the onboard IR receiver with my thumb. And you can see that uh, we can use the extender as well. And that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video.